people of the internet. In this video, I am going to give you a short introduction about uh, the Pack Tracer software, and we're going to create a local area network and test the connectivity of the devices, and uh, we'll see how things are going to go. So the first thing we have to know that this is a software simulation, and a simulation basically means instead of like in a lot of cases where really really building stuff is expensive and it requires a lot of resources and a lot of money a software simulation basically will give you uh, the tools in a form of a simulation software where you can test your design and you can uh, uh, study your design and then once you're done and you're sure that your your design is okay you can move on to put it on the ground so a simulation software basically is in, in this case is for us to be able to study networking now, why is this important? Because, again, otherwise you would need to have devices, you need to have cables, you need to have a lot of equipment which basically are not available most of the time and they're expensive. So, Packet Tracer basically will make the process of us being able to study networking a lot easier and it will take less time, of course. So, all we have to understand here at this point that we have a lot of uh, options at the bottom uh, left corner here and I'm going to start with uh, the network devices. In this case, I'm going to use a switch and I'm going to use a router. Now, what is the switch and what is the router? We're going to have uh, a whole video to talk about each one of them individually. So I'm just going to drag them and drop them and put them here. Now I'm going to have a PC and I'm going to have a laptop here and then I'm going to have a server at this uh, corner. And then after that, I have to get them connected. Now, if you click on this uh, lighting icon here, it will show you a lot of different types of cables that you can use. Um, again, we're the beginners here, so we're going to just, just try to learn how to get these things done. I'm going to go straight through, which we're going to use most of the times. Now, one thing you should understand here, when you click on this computer, it's going to show you that you got fast Ethernet connection option port. You click on it, and you move it to the switch, and then it's going to show you a lot of other options. Now, whatever option you chose in the server has to match with whatever you have in the switch. So since the first one was fast, then I'm going to go with fast. And let's repeat the same thing again. Fast Ethernet. We'll go fast Ethernet again, fast Ethernet, and we go fast Ethernet again. Now, when it comes to the router, the router doesn't have a fast Ethernet. It has only gigabit Ethernet here. So we're going to choose, for example, gigabit Ethernet 101. And here at the bottom, I have also gigabit. The numbers are, it's not a problem to choose any number, but as long as the type of the connection is the same, that's the best. Now, of course, if you don't choose the same, it may work, it may not work. It depends on what you're choosing, but we recommend to go and choose the same. Now, every one of those devices needs an IP address uh, for them to be able to communicate. And uh, what I'm going to be doing, I do have an address table here for all these devices. We mainly have two types of IP addresses, IPv4, IPv6. I'm going to talk about those uh, versions and why do we have both of them later and what's the difference between them. But for now, you are giving those IP addresses. And all you need to know here at this point is how do you use them? Later, you're going to learn how do you calculate them by yourself. So those are my IP addresses. Now, for, for in this case, I don't care about the switch. I'll leave it up for them now. I, I'm worried about the PCs on the laptop and the server. So let's go ahead and assign uh, those IP addresses for each device. Now, every single device for the IPv4 needs an IP address, a subnet mask, and a default gateway. What is the meaning of e each of these terms? Again, we'll talk about them later. But for now, we're just trying to learn how do we create a very simple local area network using information that will be given to you. So I'm just going to copy this IP address. This is for PC, so I'm going to go to PC here, and you click on desktop here, you click on the IP configuration, and now it's showing you this window. You have two options. You can choose dynamic host configuration protocol, which unfortunately I don't have that type of service here. But you see here, I already got some information. Um, I didn't configure it myself, but it's it's, it's I think it's pre-configured using the server that I'm connected, and that's why I was able to get it directly. But I don't care about that. We're going to talk about that later. But for now, I want to do it manually by myself. Same thing here. Let's try the automatic here. Let's see if the server will provide us with anything. And eh, it looks like nothing's going to happen. So let's go back to static. We're going to get everything done statically. So I'm going to click. This is my IP address. This is my subnet mask, and this is the default gateway which is going to be uh, that one. Now, all this information, as I said, I'm just using whatever I have here. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for the laptop. Oh, before I do that, let me just go ahead and get the IPv6 done as well. So I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to put it here. Of course, I have to put 64 here. So that basically means I need to take, of course, he doesn't like that. Let me take that 64 away from here, and I'm going to put 64 here. 
I'm going to explain what, what does that mean. This is basically what we call a prefix. Prefix is very similar to the subnet mask that we have in IP before, somehow. Now I'm going to go put FE80 uh, colon colon 1. And that's basically what we call the default gateway. Now, what is a default gateway? Again, we'll talk about that later. Now that I'm done with the PC, I can go to the laptop. Try to do the same thing, desktop here. Now I'll go back to the table. This is my laptop. This is the IP address. It's 30. So I'm going to come here and put the number that ends with 30, 255, 255, 255. And the default gateway is basically 1. And for the subnet mask, uh, sorry, for the IPv6, we'll just go ahead and use whatever we have here. So let's copy that. And I'll put it here. This is going to be 64. Of course, these numbers, there's a reason why we have these numbers. And as I said, it will be explained later in next videos. So I'm done with it with the laptop. Now I can go back to the server, go to the desktop, IP address, and let's go back to the table. This is the IP address of the, of the server. You put this here, and then you put, what did you didn't like about this? Oh, there's a space. Okay, I see that. There's a space between the 6 and the 8. He doesn't like that. 255. This is going to be 1. And then for the, again, the same space. Let's put that here. Now for the subnet, uh, for the IPv6, it's here. Let's copy that. And I'll put that IP address here. This is going to be 64, and this is going to be FE80 colon colon 1. And now I'm done. Now I got all these devices configured. Of course, the, the, I didn't configure the switch. I didn't configure the router. This is something I'm going to be doing in the next videos. But for now, this is my router. This is my network. Now I should be able to communicate with those devices. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use the IPv4 of this server and see if I can get connected to it using this PC. So if you click on the PC, you go to the prompt, and you ping that device. It should work with no problems. And this here, it's a, it's a ping statement or order where I'm sending four, by, uh, four packets. Each packet has a size of 32, and I'm sending it to that, to that server. And basically, it went it got to the destination in less than one millisecond because it's very close to me. And then the TTL is something we're going to talk about later. It's not a big deal for now. Now let's go ahead and try to see if we can ping the IPv6. You click here. Let, let me copy this IPv6 address. And if I go down here, let's go back to the configuration. Let's ping. Now this time I'm going to be using IPv6. And you can see here I got the same response. So I was able to connect those devices with this server, and I'm going through IPv4 here and IPv6. Everything works just fine. Um, next, I'm going to be talking about how do I configure the, the router and how do I configure this, uh, sorry, the router, and then how do I configure the switch. And then later on, we're going to talk about the information that we have in this table. Where are they coming from? What do they mean? And then after that, we are going to reduplicate another local area network and put it somewhere here and try to get those two networks to be connected together. Thank you for watching. And uh, if you like the content of this video, please consider subscribing and liking the video and sharing it if you want to do that. Thank you again for watching and see you guys later.